Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily reading for Monday, April 9th. This is for all signs, Monday, April 9th. I can get these to shuffle. we have for Monday, April 9th. I'm sorry. Let me turn that right off in a minute. Hold on. I got to turn the sound off. My apologies. All signs, April 9th, what do you have? Six of Cups. This could be somebody from your past returning. And when I say somebody from your past, this doesn't mean that it's somebody you dated. Okay? This could be somebody that you're just really familiar with. Okay? This could be an acquaintance. This could be somebody you knew when you were a child. This could be somebody from a past life that you uh, meet up with and feel the, the familiarity. Okay? So... Somebody from your past could be showing up today or they're on your mind, okay? Oh, the future's in your hands, okay? The future is in your hands. The outcome is yet to be told. It's, this isn't like, this is unpredictable because free will plays a part, okay? So whatever is happening today, the future is in your hands. What is it that you want? You know, do you want to be free? Do you, do you want to start over? Because this is a feeling of liberation. It's like the storm is now over. You, you are being given the opportunity to start anew. Okay? Do you want to? Okay? Because the future is truly in your hands. What is it that you want? The crystal ball is in your hands. This is asking you to dig really, really deep. And this kind of... Um, resembles yesterday's reading about what do I want. This card is saying, dig really deep. Look into your own crystal ball. What do you see for yourself? It's a time of liberation. I mean, do you want somebody from your past or do you want to be free from that? You know, there's no hurry, right? There is no hurry. There's nothing to be scared of. We're going to go with my traditional approach because that's where I'm at. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay? Uh, it feels as though you're dealing with a soulmate here. Maybe, you know, you don't even know who this soulmate is yet, but there's a soulmate connection. When you get the king and queen of any suit, you know, the same suit in a reading, This is there's usually a soulmate connection with the six of cups. There's a pro The probability is a little bit higher. Okay, I feel as though this is something that you have been waiting for. Okay, and you may there's somebody may be wanting to establish a or re establish the relationship with you, or this could be a new relationship. It feels like you this is something that you have patiently been waiting for and it's finally coming. Okay, and I feel like whoever this person is that um, either you're thinking about or that is on the way is probably very stable secure, abundant. Uh, they may be a little stubborn and hot-headed as well, you know, because we all have good and, and bad traits. But I feel like you really have to make a decision as to what you want. Are you ready for this? Are you ready to start a new journey? Are you ready to take a risk? I mean, that's what the question is today. Are you ready to take this risk? And start over. 
Or are, are you going to reject the opportunity? Are you feeling like you don't want this opportunity? Now, you could be dealing with a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? I feel as though, you know, you do have Aries as well, but I feel as though today is a day of realizing what you really want. This is realizing goals. Do you, What do you want? Do you want to be free? Do you want to be independent? Or do you want to be with someone? Do you want to work together with someone? Do you Are you willing to take a risk? Or are you too scared? Okay. It feels as though somebody has... You know, a decision to make, for sure. And, you know, it's in your hands. The future is, is literally in your hands today. You are, okay, if you see what's, this is the unknown, okay? And you have the, the fool mirroring it. The, the real question of the day is, are you prepared to take a risk and start over on a new journey? Or will you reject it? Do you not even see this opportunity or do you see the opportunity? Are you brooding? Are you overanalyzing? Or are you just looking for something more? I feel like whoever you're dealing with has really good intentions. They mean well. They're not out to hurt you. But there is no hurry. There's no hurry. But you're being asked to give it a chance. Oh, goodness, right? That's pretty scary stuff. Um, yeah, somebody's like, do you want to be independent or not? Somebody's not feeling worthy enough. They're not feeling like they have enough to offer. But you're being called to let go of those thoughts and stop rooting. Stop holding on to the past. This, this Seven of Pentacles is like you've been dissatisfied for a while now. And maybe you're dissatisfied over this, whatever this past is, because this is the past. You're dissatisfied about how it worked out. Now the future's in your hands. What do you want? What do you want? That's the question. And this is very similar to yesterday as it is. Somebody's not happy on their own. And they want to be together. They want a partner. They want their, their happily ever after. And, you know, it, it could be headed in your direction if you're willing to take a risk. Somebody is scared of, scared of disaster. They're scared of a downfall. They're scared of, of it not working out. So they've made themselves emotionally unavailable. Maybe they've closed themselves off. I feel like somebody has their heart set on somebody who isn't communicating with them, isn't offering them love, and you're being called to, you know, give it a chance. Or completely walk away. What are you going to do? Do you want to walk away? Do you really, really, really want to walk away? If you really want to walk away, then you need to make a decision to do it. I mean, really. Somebody here is at uh, is mentally conflicted, even though we don't have those cards. It's like you're holding on to the past when you have a new offer. And you're being called to to release your old ways, release your old thoughts, and make a final decision. Do you, what do you, what the, what do you want? There's a lot of emotional disappointment here. And somebody is afraid, really afraid to start over. Maybe even reconcile with someone from their past. Start over with someone from their past. Maybe. this could, Like I said, this could be somebody that you haven't even dated before. Could be. Can go many ways, right? So I really feel like today is a day of... Deciding 
Are you going to sacrifice your, your future holding on to someone that isn't reciprocating? Or are you going to move on and let somebody new in? I mean, what is it that you want? I think somebody is brooding. They're brooding. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Live in the now. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. Move forward. Just move forward. Release. Let go. You know, I feel like you guys have an opportunity to build a new foundation, you know, to to strengthen a foundation. Four, four, four. Fours are about foundations, okay? Somebody ha is also being divinely guided by angels to make a decision to do something. I feel like you're on the right path. All is well. Everything is happening as it should. Um, pay attention to the signs right now. You could be receiving some signs and not even noticing them. Okay. You're being called to live in the now. Live right now. Whatever has happened in the past, let it go. Both orange cards. There's a lot of passion here. To be had. Inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired, blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is a time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn re reconnect you with all that is sacred. This is an opportunity to set new goals, to move forward, Right now. This is what I have for today, April 9th. Talk to you tomorrow.